Brave Space Alliance is on a mission to create an affirming and culturally competent place for queer people on the south side of Chicago. Here to talk more about the center's programming is Lasaya Wade and Jay Rodriguez. Thank you so much for being here. No problem, excited. You guys are pretty busy. Talk a little bit about everything that the center has to offer. So we have multiple things. We move in a mutual aid aspect. Our biggest uh, program right now is our food pantry. We service over mm. 2,000 people a week on the south side and throughout Chicago as a whole. We have one of the largest mutual aid group support groups from trans women to queer people um, all the way through. Um, we have a makeup room that serves over 200 people a week and also a den that serves trans masculine people and getting what their needs are and uh, for a particular space. Also, we service uh, free laser in a space as well as uh, um, support groups in the space That's as well. That's amazing. Well, Jay, I want to get to you. You know a little bit about barber shops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And, and why is that and how did you get into the industry? So I got into barbering when I was 27. It was like between cooking or um, barbering and it was like cooking school was like $55,000 so I was Ooh. like all right I'm okay. gonna go check out the barber shop um, or the barber school that I w went to was on the south side and then I got in there and it just felt like home mm -hmm. and it was really easy and it was really like it was learning how to cut hair wasn't easy but learning how to like give and like you know learn how to do haircuts and like get things straight and make sure people look good that was the easy part and why is this partnership with Brave Space Alliance so important I think because it's you know making right now spaces that are made for us and by us are super important like where we, where we get to be safe where we get to feel like this space was made for us and isn't trying to push us out i think you know barbershops could be very you know toxic or hard to be in when you're not a cis person like a cis dude mm -hmm. so creating those spaces really makes sense where we can feel like we're each other we don't have to fake it we don't have to you know tone it down or you know feel like oh is something gonna happen to me you know because we deal with that all the time on the street yeah. so it's like creating a space where we feel good and it's made for us by us where we could share like intergenerational space also is, is super important we think about to the barber shop the beauty shop that's kind of like how Counseling. I mean, yes. you tell them everybody yes. and everything. So having that space be safe has got to be so important. Yeah, for sure. And, and you guys have really done that in so many different areas and very specifically on the south side. Let's talk about why. I think it's important. Uh, a lot of resources are not on the south side of Chicago. Mm -hmm. And as we created BSA, it was important to bring them resources back. And especially where a lot of black and brown queer people are located on the south side, where they have to travel to other sides of Chicago. And even if it's safe to even travel on some planes or public transportations, what we have noticed is there's a high volume of violence towards trans people and especially trans people of color mm -hmm. going to the north side when they're trying to re access the resources. So we're trying to bring them resources back to the south side to the people that are in them communities. Lasaya, what's the feedback you've been getting uh, from folks that are actually benefiting from your programming and then from other folks who may not be familiar? I think the, the heaviest hitting one was during a pandemic where a trans person called into the HIV hotline and said, I would not have survived if BSA did not drop off food for me. Wow. Um, and, and that still sits with me today. That means that we are reaching the people that actually need these re particular resources. Um, we service close to 2,000 people a week through our pantry and that just right there saves people's lives. That is unbelievable. And we were talking in the commercial break, you guys are expanding to housing too. Yes, mm -hmm. um, so first we, we just bought a building off of 71st and Jeffrey, which will be our programming building. And also we just bought a uh, apartment building off of Saginaw, where we will serve 36 trans individuals that are dealing with homelessness. Oh my gosh, mm. that's great. I mean, culturally, politically, right now, uh, this is, you know, it's in the news, everyone's mm -hmm. talking about uh, what you're facing. Um, what does it mean for you to have an organization like this, Jay? I think it's it's been really helpful to like find your people, you know, when, with it everything and the pandemic making everything so inaccessible and so kind of like by yourself like everybody's self quarantine so it's like where are my you know where are my mm -hmm. people where are things where is it not gonna feel so lonely yeah you know mm -hmm. where can i talk about whatever we're going through you know just or keep it light also like you know when we're in the barbershop like videos are playing we're listening to like you know we're talking about like miss Elliot, how <laughs> music shapes us right like how those things are doing but it's been super important to like have a space that becomes because every community has their hub in a barbershop so it's been really cool to create this space here with brave space we're almost out of time but is this something that is you 
unique to Chicago or other big cities kind of catching on and doing this as well? This is unique to Chicago. Okay. There's not one like this in the country. We That's have amazing. the largest uh, food pantry network, mutual aid in the country right now. Oh. And really quick, how can we help? Donate. Support, <laughs> uh, uh, volunteer. We need all the support that we possibly can get. All right, all right. fantastic. Thank you so much yeah, for being here. We absolutely. appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you so Make much. sure we get all the information for Brave Space Alliance. If you would like to donate or get some more information about everything they offer, check out the website and their social media handles as well. Don't hate everybody. Don't That's hate. what Lasaya said. Thank all right. you.